Okay, Oak Rovers, this is going to be a video to help you with two-step equations. Now, as you can see, I have two two-step equations up here, but they look quite a bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'll do the first two-step equation first, and then I'll show you how to do the second one also. Whenever I have two-step equations, I always like to make a line through my equal sign. And the reason I do that is it tells me whatever I do on the left side of the equation, I have to do the exact same thing on the right side of the equation. Now the object of a two-step equation is to get a variable all by itself on one side and a number all by itself on the other side. If I look at this equation, I already have my variable on the left side. So I've got to get rid of my numbers and then I have to, uh, it's kind of like the opposite of order of operation. I have to get rid of my numbers first and then I have to undo what I'm doing to x. So if I look at my number here, I have a positive 9 where the variable is. In order to get rid of a positive 9, I have to combine it with negative 9, because positive 9 and negative 9 make 0. But if I combine this side, a negative 9 to this side, I've got to do the exact same thing to the other side of the equation also. So what I'm going to do to start this problem out is add a negative 9 to both sides of the equation. Now, when I do that, on the left side of the equation, my positive 9 and negative 9 make 0, and I'm just left with a negative 4x. On the right side, I have 19 and negative 9, and when I combine that, I should have 10. So let's, this positive 9 and negative 9 make 0, so on the left I have negative 4x, and on the right side I have 10. Now to solve this for x, I've got to undo multiplying x by negative 4. The opposite of multiplying by negative 4 is dividing by negative 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is just 1, so on the left side I'm left with x. 10 divided by negative 4 is negative 2.5. So the first problem, I have x is equal to negative 2.5. Let's look at the, dip, the next problem too. Now the reason why this is different is I have, I'm, I'm dividing x by something instead of multiplying x by something. So let's do it the exact same way. I'll make my fence through the equal sign all the way down. Now I've got to get the variable all by itself on the left because that's where my variable is and the numbers all by themselves on the, on the right. Now with my variable on the left I have a minus 6 or a negative 6. I've got to get rid of that so I have to combine it with a positive 6. But if I do it to one side I've got to make sure I do it to the other side. So I'll add 6 to both sides of the equation. Now let's see what I have left after that. Negative 6 and positive 6 make 0, so I just have x divided by 3 on the left side. On the right side I have 8 and negative 6, so I should have a total of negative 2 on the right side. Now I've got to undo dividing x by 3. The opposite of dividing by 3 is multiplying by 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3, and when I do that, 3 times x divided by 3 is just going to be x, and negative 2 times 3 is going to be negative 6. So in this equation, my solution is x is equal to negative 6.